What's up guys, my name is Gabe and welcome back to the Trojan Blade. Welcome back to a brand new video. We have a Tuesday morning edition of the Trojan Update and man, it's gonna be a fun one. We have a lot of big recruiting news to talk about. There is a ton to be excited about if you're a Trojan fan. So of course, please do hit that like button. Please do hit that subscribe button down below. We are less than 150 subs away from hitting 10K here on the channel. So excited for that. Of course, guys, thank you for being here and let's get into this. All right, so starting off here with the big news first, Sam Spiegelman from Rivals. He is the national recruiting analyst over there. He put out a bombshell tweet last night. You see it up on the screen. It says USC took a massive leap forward after hosting five-star defensive lineman Jakeem Stewart for an official visit this month. The Trojans are now trending as the favorite for rivals number one defensive lineman as signing day nears. My prediction is in. That's right, guys. That is a prediction for Jakeem Stewart to end up at USC. Now, you do not need me to tell you what a massive, massive win this would be. Yes, it's early. Yes, he's not committed. Yes, we have to worry about Oregon and Ohio State all these schools that can just drop massive bags at any moment's notice. But look, the word coming from USC, coming from the people I've talked to, they all feel so confident with where the NIL budget currently sits. I mean, we're talking some high, high numbers of fundraising and goals that we've hit this year. Now, of course, I'm hesitant to believe it because with USC, with NIL, we get in our own way. We make things way harder than they need to be. But man, if this is true, we are serious contenders with NIL. All the numbers that I've heard float around are probably true because this is a big boy recruitment for one of the premier players in the entire country who also happens to be a defensive lineman, one of the most valuable positions on the football field. Now, if you aren't familiar with Jakeem Stewart, this guy is a beast. 6'6", 275, number one defensive lineman in the country per multiple recruiting sites from New Orleans, Louisiana. His nickname is obviously Thanos. Just an absolute beast of a football player at, of course, our biggest position of need. This would be the home run of home runs, an absolute grand slam any way you look at it. The fact that we're in pole position to land him right now is a big deal, guys. When you look at the schools we're competing with, again, it's those NIL superpowers. You have Oregon, you have Ohio State. You already know about Oregon and Phil Knight. But guys, the entire city of Columbus rallied around Ohio State last year. I was living in Columbus when all this happened. Massive, massive amounts of money coming in from local companies and obviously they're big time donors as well. They're absolutely an NIL powerhouse. So for us to even be in the mix in this stage, that really says to me that we have turned a corner with NIL. Are we a top five program when it comes to NIL? Not sure about that. Not sure about us being top 10. But hey, if we close this, you can count me as a believer. Because when I tell you that Jakeem Stewart is an elite talent, I still feel like I'm underselling the guy. This guy is a giant, but he's an athletic freak. He's so strong, he's so fast, he's so powerful. You can play him inside, you can put him at the edge. He's a great pass rusher. He's also great against the run. He can do everything for you along that defensive line. He's a very violent player. He enjoys contact, he enjoys drilling people. That's clear to see. Five-star across the board, he would no doubt make the 2025 class a massive success. If you guys follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, you would have seen me post that Star Wars Death Star stuff a few weeks ago. This is exactly the kind of stuff I was referring to. People around the program are extremely confident with how we're gonna close this class. And if, and guys, it is still an if, but if we can close with Jakeem Stewart, then we are absolutely golden. Now guys, we do have a lot more recruiting news to talk about. But before we do that, I want to shout out today's video sponsor, Price Picks. Price Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app. I've gotten this question a lot. Yes, it is available to play in California. It's so easy to use, so fun to use as well. Every single week now, I'm getting DMs from you guys showing me your winning lineups over at Price Picks. You guys are making a ton of money and I love to see it. And guys, keep in mind that all you have to do is play $5 in lineups. And when you use my code BLADE, you will get a guaranteed $50 in promo funds. Taking a look this week, it's obviously Thanksgiving coming up. We are going to have some good NFL football on the docket. I have a fun offensive heavy play for you guys this week. I have Cooper Rush and CeeDee Lamb to go above their totals. Obviously playing a reeling New York Giants team. And then I have Jared Goff and Amon Ross St. Brown going up against the Bears. I have them going over their projected totals as well. So again, guys, use my code BLADE. Play just $5 in lineups and then you will receive a guaranteed $50 in promo funds. Thank you so much, Prize Picks. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so we do have a few flips to talk about. Unfortunately, not guys flipping to USC, but flipping away from us. Four-star linebacker Ty Jackson flipped from USC to Florida. 
6205 probably projects more as a big nickel than a true linebacker. He is a very highly rated player, a very talented kid, wishing him nothing but the best going over to Florida. They have a ton of momentum right now. But of course, the thing we've seen with USC in this cycle, especially over the last few weeks, when we lose a recruit, we go out and we flip someone else that's even higher rated. And we still are in play for a few big time linebackers. Madden Faramo is the big one. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. My apologies. 6'3", 230 from Jay Sarah, a four star in this class, the number three linebacker in the country. That would obviously be an upgrade from Ty Jackson and another phenomenal defensive piece to close out this class with. We also saw Trojan running back commit Dwayne Morris flip over to the Tennessee Volunteers. Now, this is absolutely not sour grapes in any way. Wish him absolutely nothing but the best. But guys, unless you're getting a generational kind of running back, these guys grow on trees. The transfer portal exists. Lincoln Riley's going to have a stacked running back room. Not worried about that in the slightest. And in typical USC fashion, we are being linked with Carson Cox, a local product, a higher ranked running back than Dwayne Morris. Currently a Bruin commit, disgusting, I know. But this kid is an absolute stud. Just wrapped up his season at Oak Hills High School. Six foot, 200 pounds, a four-star running back in the 247 sports composite. A California kid, a highly rated recruit. He can do everything for you. He can catch the ball. He can pass block. Very physical, great speed. Also plays linebacker, so a very hard-nosed and tough kid. A lot of smoke about that flip coming soon, so obviously be on the lookout for that. And guys, to wrap up, we did get a big commitment two days ago. We continue our recruitment of Folsom High School with the addition of 2025 Edge slash tight end. Oh God, I know I'm gonna get this name wrong. I apologize in advance, but I'm gonna go with Nella Tapau. I hope I said that right. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Again, my apologies. But this was a Utah commit. He was very close with the staff there. He was a big part of that Utah class. You go and see what the Utah fans are saying. They are devastated by this loss. Now he is going to be playing tight end for USC. 6'4", 250. A very big guy. You would think he'd lose a little that weight. Maybe play at 245, 240. But this kid is a physical beast. Again, another California kid. We have really ramped up the in-state recruiting these last few weeks. And like we talked about before, there is more to come there more than likely. So yeah, guys, very exciting news, obviously, with the links to Jakeem Stewart. Something to keep an eye on for sure. Simply cannot overstate how big of a signing that would be. So guys, a little schedule note for this week. Tomorrow morning on Wednesday, I will have a transfer portal primer coming out. Going to be talking about positions in need for SC. And also going to be getting back into the 2025 quarterback conversation now that we've seen Jaden Maiava out there on the field. And then obviously the Notre Dame game preview will be out Thursday. And if there's any big recruiting news in between, I will have that fully covered for you guys here on the channel. Want to thank you guys so much for being here today. If you did happen to enjoy this, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, you guys are all awesome. And as always, take care and fight on.